Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. I wanted to bring you guys a video on the KD6s and some kind of updated thoughts on the shoe now that we've seen it. Um, I know some of you guys are going to be like, what the heck? You said you didn't like these shoes. Why do you have these? Uh, these ones actually are not for me. They're for somebody else. But I wanted to show you guys them and kind of review um, kind of my top three reasons why. I'm taking a second uh, look at the KD6s. So, um, first of all, obviously, if you guys didn't see my original um, thoughts on this shoe, I wasn't really a big fan of it. And the main reasons why... Uh, were because of that awkward tongue. Now, the tongue looks really weird in, in stock pictures like this. Um, I, I just didn't really, really like the design of the tongue. I actually did try these on in store, and it looks really weird with ankle socks, and you guys know I'm a big fan of ankle socks, um, because your ankle sock comes across right here, so it looks all off because this tongue is, like, crooked. Um, that being said, from most of the pictures and stuff, and, and everything I've seen the shoe, I never really got this look of the shoe, the top-down aerial view. And this top-down view is actually enough for me to go, wow, these are actually look pretty crazy. That top-down view is the look that you look down in, at your shoe when you see it on your foot like that. And it, although it's a little um, off sides, it kind of gives it more of an aerodynamic feel. And I actually don't mind that when, uh, when you have that kind of the, the aerial view. So there's one reason why I actually am taking a second look at the KD6s. Uh, the second reason is because during the LeBron James event at Nike headquarters the other week, um, if you guys didn't know, I didn't do a video on it. Actually, I did do videos, but I didn't know if I was allowed to post it, so I didn't actually post the video on it yet because um, I don't want to get in trouble post because it was like an employee sort of um, event. So I didn't want to post it, but uh, at the event, um, I was there with Shoelander, actually, another YouTuber as well. If you don't know who he is, check out his YouTube in the description. Um, his name is, again, Shoelander. And... Uh, he texts me, he's like, oh, I saw so-and-so, and I was like, who's that? And he's like, oh, it's the designer of the KDs. And right after he said that, I was like, yeah, I, I totally just passed that guy. I knew who he was talking about. I remember seeing him in the videos. And he's another reason why I'm taking a second look at the shoe. The guy is extremely humble looking. Like, he just, he seems like a really cool, like, mellow um, guy. And I don't know, I couldn't go up. I just felt like, oh, I wanted to go up and like, hey, dude, how's it going? And then I was like, dude, I don't want to be like, hey, I really hate your KD6s. But you also got to realize that this shoe is um, designed within a specific budget. Um, that which the LeBrons are not designed within. So these box price, what are they, $130? Um, the LeBrons are like $200 coming up. I mean, with the constraints, the financial constraints of the KDs, um, the KDs to me like represent that. Like they, They're like the best of the budget kind of sneakers that you can get. And... With that in mind, I mean, I have to take another look, and because of the designer and because of the budget constraints um, that they have probably for making the shoe with the materials that they're given, um, that's another reason why I would definitely take a second look at the shoes. Now, the third and final reason is because of colorways like this. Um, obviously, I'm a huge fan of Oregon State, and the orange colorway to me just is very, very vibrant, and I really do like that. And uh, because of that, like, I do actually like this colorway of the shoe. Um, I did try it on and unfortunately for somebody like myself, it doesn't work because the shoe is extremely narrow. If, if the shoe was a lot wider, then I would give it a try. But even with the laces completely loose, it was way too um, form-fitting to my foot that I couldn't, I couldn't breathe at all. So it definitely was not a shoe that I would actually be able to buy and, and uh, rock on a regular basis because of that. Um, but for those people that are like skinnier maybe with, with narrow feet and stuff... Um, I'm sure you guys would find these extremely comfortable. Uh, I do actually kind of like the look. I mean, the soles, I think, look, look just crazy wicked. I really do like the soles. It's really intricate. You can see the star patterns here, and then there's a second layer of star patterns, actually, as you kind of dig in a little bit deeper, as you can see right there, which is pretty, pretty crazy design on the soles alone. I like the Thunderbolt-like uh, pattern on that as well. Uh, the, the Crooked Tongue, again, hit and miss. Na no ankle socks, obviously, for me. Uh, but uh, but actually the aerial view man it gave me enough to to give the, the shoe a second look um, I, Again try it on it didn't really work for me if they had a, a uh, Maybe a pair that was a little bit wider But uh, but I don't think you know back in the day Nike used to make wide and and non-wide shoes or whatever But if they did that for these I would actually give them a go and give them a try Let me know your guys thoughts on this though because I'm curious um, For those of you guys that really hated the shoe when it first came out have you guys also looked at some of the colorways and you're like, yeah, you know what, it's not that bad. It's not, um, and I'm, I'm feeling like my first initial reactions a lot of times when we see something new, it's like, wait, that's not the KD4, or that's, not, that's nothing like the KD4, or then, and it's totally different than the KD5, so it can't be good. But I guess uh, seeing it is in person definitely makes things better, 
and you don't get the 100% um, view from a YouTube video or even like when you see it on a sneaker blog or something. So I advise you guys if you can't see stuff in person, I'm curious how this is going to translate to the, the LeBron 11s. I personally love seeing the pictures of them. I think they look so crazy dope. Some people really hate those shoes and I'm curious, uh, you know, in three to six months, uh, when they come out and people are rocking them and stuff, how they're going to feel after that. But end of the video for you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And we'll catch you guys for another video soon. Check the website, collectivekicks.com, for more sneaker information. And I'll be updating it daily. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.